Magnesium is an essential vitamin that is involved in over 350 biochemical processes all throughout the body. It's the fourth most abundant mineral within the human body, and it's important for regulating blood pressure, maintaining normal heart rate, and optimizing our neurologic functions. According to the National Institute of Health, nearly 70% of the entire US population does not receive enough magnesium through their diets alone. The recommended dietary allowance for adults is about 400 to 450 milligrams per day for men, and about 300 to 350 milligrams per day for women. Now the signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency overlap quite extensively with that of potassium deficiency. A lot of times a potassium deficiency can't even be corrected without first addressing the magnesium deficiency. So I'm gonna talk about a few of the common and major signs and symptoms of a magnesium deficiency, and then I'll talk about the number one sign of a magnesium deficiency in a little bit. Some signs and symptoms are muscle twitching or muscle cramping, heart arrhythmias, so if you feel like a fluttering in your chest or even sometimes chest pain, this could be an indication of magnesium deficiency. Insulin resistance, as magnesium is essential in order for your body to take up glucose within your cells properly, and a lack of magnesium can actually lead to prediabetes and even full-on diabetes. Insomnia, magnesium is essential for quality sleep. The next one is migraines. Not having enough magnesium in your body has actually been shown to not only increase the overall duration of migraine headaches, but also increase the frequency at which they occur every month. High blood pressure. Magnesium has been shown to act as a vasodilator, although its vasodilatory effects are small, they can be significant and a magnesium deficiency can lead to hypertension. Overall mood instability and or depression plus anxiety. Magnesium has been shown and is absolutely essential for optimizing mental health. Osteopenia. Now osteopenia is just a fancy word for thinning of the bones. And we normally think of this as a problem with calcium and vitamin D, but magnesium acts as a cofactor in order to optimize the function of both calcium and vitamin D. So an overall deficiency in magnesium can lead to osteopenia that can then progress to osteoporosis. Now the number one sign and symptom of a magnesium deficiency is fatigue. Now yes, fatigue is a very, very broad symptom and can occur for a plethora of different reasons. However, magnesium deficiency can cause fatigue and this is the number one sign. So why exactly does a magnesium deficiency lead to fatigue? Well, part of those 350 biochemical processes that magnesium is involved in, a majority of those are actually involved within the mitochondria. Now, going back to high school biology classes, the mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell, and it's primarily responsible for creating ATP, which is the major energy source for all of our cells within the human body. When magnesium levels are low, the overall processes within these mitochondria don't work as well, leading to decreased levels of ATP, which eventually leads to decreased energy levels. So how does one person even get magnesium deficient in the first place? Well, there's three primary reasons, and the first is just simply not taking enough magnesium in through diet and supplementation alone. The second is overconsumption of sugar, as sugar has been known to deplete magnesium stores within the body. And the third is chronic alcohol consumption, as drinking too much alcohol on a regular basis can lead to overall lower levels of magnesium. So how do we get the magnesium back that has been depleted? Well, the first thing that you can do and probably the easiest thing to do is to cut out processed sugars, processed foods, and processed seed oils. The second thing you can do is cut back the overall amount of alcohol that you consume. And the third thing is to eat foods that tend to be higher in magnesium overall. And some food options are organ meats, specifically beef liver, fish, nuts, dark leafy greens, and brown rice. Now for most people, I definitely recommend a magnesium supplement as it's still quite difficult, even if you eat all the right foods and cut out all the junk, 
it's still hard to get that much magnesium in your bodies in order to optimize the biochemical processes throughout your body. Now with magnesium supplementation, I recommend magnesium glycinate starting between 100 to 300 milligrams per day. Now there are a few different formulations of magnesium that I absolutely would not recommend. And if you wanna check out more information about which magnesium supplement would be right for you, I'll link that video here in the top corner as well as in the description below. If you'd like to see a different topic on this channel that I haven't covered yet, please leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, I will catch you all on the next one.